One favorite thing as a bus enthusiast in Singapore is to settle the public bus routes. From an interesting landmark to the history, to its own uniqueness of a certain bus services. While some bus services has a similarity, we will showcase them into a topic. If you like to adventure on public bus routes and get to know the history like me, you're in the right place. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore. In this week's special content of Discovery Buses in Singapore, they will bring you into the upcoming handover of Jurong West to SMRT Buses later this week. Instead of going into the usual things that Wadi Admin had produced, let's make it into trivia. After all, it is a discovery. There are 5 pieces of trivia for us to show you, brought to you by our Discord moderator, Candy. For many years, SMRT Buses have been operating service 190. Service 190 is the only bus service in the numeral 19 series in SMRT buses. While the rest of the numeral 19 series belongs to SBS Transit, services 192, 193, 194, and 199 will be operated by SMRT buses under the Geo West region. It is the first time SMRT buses have used the numeral 19 series. Meanwhile, SMRT buses will operate the numeral 200 series for the first time since 1998, when Trans Island used to run former bus services 214E and 214W. For the first time in history of Singapore's public bus industry, the tender contract will be using the existing bus depot. Throughout five regions since the start of the bus contracting model or the BCM, Sunni Depot will be the first of the kind to transition from a negotiated package into a tender region. Also, SMRT buses will be using the multi store depot for the second time of the Woolens Depot, the first in the history of the Singapore's public bus industry. While SMRT buses will be operating for feeder services, it will be their first time to run the GNW series in history. As a bi directional feeder service, it was a close call in 2015 when the LTA nearly amended Service 300 into a GNW loop. Unfortunately, Due to public backlash, the LTV aligned Service 300 without the GNW. Meanwhile, SMRT buses used to run in a bi directional services 859A and 859B. But it is not counted as the first, as it is considered as the trunk service. For the first time since the beginning of bus quantity model, SMRT buses will be using SBS printed buskers as part of the Jurong West assets. However, it isn't the first time we will see Roja deliveries around the western part of Singapore as we had seen Roja, Mercedes Benz Citaros and Volvo Bina in the north between 2016 and 2021. The Roja delivery is no stranger to SMRT buses but seeing the SBS plated buses will be an eye opener to the bus enthusiast community. Also, it is the first time for SMRT buses to rest Kana KUB instead of Man A22 from the SSD assets. However, there is a mystery surprises in the upcoming year, so stay tuned. To us, Jiu Industrial, Jiuong West, NTU, and Jalan Baha will be painted red, yellow, and black with pixels as the new start of SMRT buses in Jiuom West. There are no changes to the existing goods, but there will be changes to the fleets and frequencies. Are you excited for the handover? Do leave your comment. And thank you for watching.